Hey YouTube, this is TCA Gaming. This will be my last video before I take off to Hartford, Connecticut to uh, participate in the regionals. Well, I'm not going to be a participant in that. I'm going to be playing the regionals. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be vending there. And uh, I've already scheduled a few meetups with some of you on here, as well as someone who's going to open up a box with me as long as everything goes well. I'm going to try to do a few videos while I'm there where I can... Um, show you guys you know what's going on at the event i know i've received a lot of requests for that but this video i'm going to show you a purchase that i just made and then i'm going to open up a few of the packs and give a shout out to the person that i bought it from because he's got a lot of really cool stuff so we're going to start off with some of the base set packs that i bought off of him he's got a lot more packs uh, himself still for sale so you got these are all base set booster packs i just wanted to load up a little bit extra more before i went to this convention just in case some of you are coming out there to um to buy some of this stuff all of these he told me were straight from a booster box and so I went ahead and verified that all the ones you're looking at here these are the light I think I bought 22 packs or so from them and then there were uh, there were eight that I believe were a little bit heavier than the others I think those are going to have the hollows in them in fact we're going to open up a few of them here are some of those that I got from them. again these packs look really crisp you can tell they come just straight out of a booster box and uh, let's see there's two Charizards three Blastoise and three Venusaurs, so maybe we'll open up a, uh, a Blastoise and a Venusaur pack for this video. Also, he uh, sent me, I purchased some first edition base set booster packs off of him. He did tell me beforehand that these were light, but um, they were a really good price. And in fact, he still has some left on eBay, and I imagine he'll cut you a deal if you wanted to send him a message. Uh, and the, the seller for all this stuff is Pokemon Revolution. A lot of you probably already know him. I mean, there's more followers for him by far on Instagram than me, but he's got an eBay where he sells some really good stuff. There's his email. There's his Instagram. And then um, he's also got a YouTube. I'm going to put that in the description as well as an, in the end, like the end screens for this video. And um, I'm going to try to get it into a card up here in the top right corner of the screen where you see the little eye for information. So hopefully you can click on that, check out his YouTube channel. But I think the best way to get a hold of him would probably either be his email or that eBay store right there, maybe even through his Instagram, because that's where we did our deal. We did our deal through Instagram, because those are the means of contact that he put on here. But he has a few more of these uh, base first edition booster packs. I think they're all light. He said he opened it, or he had a box, and he opened up the heavy ones, and then he kept the other ones. So these are in like really nice minty shape so if you're looking for something for your personal collection this would be a way to go and then on top of that he actually sent me something extra and it says thanks rusty nick pokemon revolution between you and me i've already looked at it but just for a little effect i saved it and if you look at it right here it's actually an ex ruby and sapphire pack he's at, he's got several neo series and ex series booster packs that are for sale on his instagram the prices are really good i missed out on some of the booster boxes that he was selling for a really good price um, I tried buying them from but they were already gone unfortunately. So I'm going to open up this pack and then I'm going to open up these two base set booster packs which they should be heavy from what I can find and uh, we'll see what we get. Let me pull it from this right here. I'm, I'm starting to get really excited about the Hartford Regionals. Um, I've never been to a convention that's specifically for Pokemon so I'm eager to see all the collectors there. I'm just hoping I can handle my two eight foot tables. Now there's nine cards in here, so I imagine I think that's the front, so it's, it's pretty tight. Then it's just gonna be one, two off the back if there's anything in here. And if that's the case, this should be a reverse hollow, so we'll go ahead and put that in a case too. Hopefully I didn't get that wrong. But I'm gonna take those two, put them back here, we'll check out these cards first. Well, I think I see a reverse hollow. Let's see if that's gonna be the back one. So maybe I messed that up. So we'll go ahead and put this one in a case too and check it out. So there's one card in there, it's probably not gonna be anything good, but let's check them out. So we have Ralts, and if you notice it has the dot code at the bottom right along here, but it did, none of these cards should have a code along the top left side. That's because they should just be data entry points. And it looks like I still missed the hollows somehow. So I'm just gonna glance at it real quick because <laughs> the, the pack trick kind of just did not work with this one but the reverse hollow is a grove owl so check that out looks to be in really good shape but there's a very noticeable printing line straight across the bottom that was something that was very prominent 
in uh, the reverse hollows, especially the early ones like from Ruby and Sapphire, because it only started with the reverse hollows in Legendary Collection. So we've got the Ralts, we've got a Puchina, got a Makuhita, Electrike, and then a Water Energy. And then all of these, um, they have the E symbol because they come from the booster pack, and then they also are dated 2003. Now if you bought some of these cards and they don't have this E symbol down here, or if they're dated 2004 or 2005, down in the bottom middle they probably come from one of the trainer kits there are a handful of cards like that and then there are a lot of cards who have different codes as well so i'm not even sure which one would be the hollow Knight. we're just going to look at these three so we've got us a professor birch that would be the uncommon or one of the uncommons and then we have an uncommon manetric and last we've got to say rare nose pass so we did not get a holographic card still really cool to open nonetheless Thanks so much, Nick, at Pokemon Revolution for sending us this free EX Ruby and Sapphire pack. Beautiful artwork. Really cool wrapper. I like the wrapper just about as much as I like the cards. But we still have two more base set booster packs that we're going to open up. We're going to start with the Venusaur. For those of you who are wondering what's in the background, this is a lenticular set. Uh, someone had inquired about one of my uncut sheets. So what I did was uh, I got it out and priced it for him. I haven't heard back from him, so I guess he doesn't want it. But... I just decided to put it on display in the back just for the, for the heck of it since uh, many of you may have not have seen this before and um, it's actually a complete set it's, it's a 9 by 9 it's got 80 different cards on it but it it'll go through the evolution so like a Charmander card which are Charmander, Charmeleon and Charizard so it would technically have all three of those on one of them and then the, the last 81st card is a blank got us a Diglett, Ponyta Let's go ahead and show the whole card. We got a gust of wind, Tangela, got a water or a water energy, got a lightning energy, then a water energy, and this is the error water energy. You got seal, revive, and defender. So next up we still have whatever is in here, and it is a Raichu. Man, I haven't pulled one of these yet. Oh, look at that. Or I may have in that original box, but not lately. Great hollow. Man, looks good on the back too. Probably a solid nine. I think I see a few white specks down there at the bottom. Hardly noticeable though. Man, the front looks great. One of the better hollows that I could have pulled from these packs. Really cool. We still have one more pack to do. This is the Blastoise artwork that I just chose randomly out of there. And again, if you're looking for some of these heavy packs or you just want some light packs for your collection, I will have these for sale at the Hartford Regionals. And they're on eBay as well, so I mean, you can contact me anytime about that kind of stuff. Again, hopefully this is a hollow. Still have yet to pull a base set hollow Charizard. Maybe that's the one. All right, so we're going to start off this pack with a Machop. Got a Staryu, Metapod, Nidoran, Switch, Fire Energy, a Lightning Energy, Super Potion is the first uncommon. Ivasaur, we got one of the starters. That's really cool. And then we got Nidorino, another solid pull. This one is uh, shifted off. Hopefully the hollow does not have that same off-centering because then that would pretty much mean that it could not get a PSA 10. Ninetales. Oh, man, I saw that fire there for a second. I thought we pulled the Charizard, but we did get a pretty cool char or a pretty cool Ninetales. This, unlike the Shadows version, all of them have the 80 damage right there. There are some people who like the blue color background a little better. If you notice, this one has a pretty strong blue tint to the flames. Some of them have a very strong purple tint. A lot of people thought that was an error that noticed it, but it re it's really not. It's just, I mean, it could be pretty much either purple or blue. It's just a different tinting of the color. Either way, really cool pool. Glad to see that these packs are 100% legit. Like I said, I had already weighed them out, so they look good. But I still have another six of these packs that are heavy. And I'll make sure to have these available for anybody who's looking for them. Anyways, thanks guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if I do not get any videos uploaded while I'm in Hartford, it will be early next week. But hopefully I'll get a couple up before then. Thanks.